In today's equity index futures markets, uh, let's focus on the NASDAQ today as we start this week and uh, NASDAQ uh, realizing another gain today, at least trying to hold on to positive territory here. We did see it a little higher intraday, giving up a little ground, but still up on the day. And when you look at the the price action, again, uh, record high after record high. We've seen the NASDAQ futures basically up 12 out of the last 14 days. Uh, so a continuation of this rally. And when you look at the rally from the October lows, it's very substantial as we continue to see most of the major um, equity indexes rallying significantly here in this last quarter and particularly in the month of December. Looking at um, the NASDAQ, let's focus on the price action here. We did see it up. Uh, outpacing most of the other major averages. I can tell you the Dow futures are actually the best performer today, and I think that was because of Boeing uh, helping to push the Dow higher today with its bouncing, uh, with Boeing bouncing back today. Uh, but ultimately, when you look at the price action, we saw the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the Russell up uh, about twice as much as the S&P today. And uh, with that, um, we're seeing uh, some of the sectors that are helping the, these certain markets to outperform. And I think you got to look at biotech, and the industrial sector, as well as aerospace. And those are the three areas where you're seeing uh, outperformance today and helping to push some of the other averages a little bit higher than the S&P today. Looking at the trends in place, and um, as we move it towards the end of the year, I want to point out that when you look at the NASDAQ futures, uh, they're up 3.4% for the month of December alone after we saw that initial weakness. Uh, we're seeing nice strength here as we continue to move towards the end of the year. And going back, as I mentioned, to those October lows, those October 30 lows, we saw a low of 74.94. Now we're trading up around the 87.25 level. So you're looking at a better than 16% gain in just the last two and a half months alone. So once again, momentum shifting towards uh, the upside as we continue to see the trade situation resolve itself and move into uh, 2020 on a positive tone. And that's certainly helping to boost the NASDAQ futures once again today.